Hey everyone, it's Braden here for gshelper.com, and today I'm super excited to show you our latest third-party template. This is the 2048 template, and this is probably one of the best third-party templates we have up on our site right now. Uh, it's just jam-packed full of great logic and uh, responsive systems and, and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this template works. Um, I'm really excited because 2048 is probably one of the one of my favorite uh, pick up and play me games right now on iOS, Android, it doesn't matter, they're all there. Uh, and It's just really fun and so this is probably one of my favorite games right now. So to be able to show you guys this as a template uh, is great. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm sure you know what 2048 is, but if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and while I'm playing give a description of how the game plays and what the goal is. So uh, let's dive in. Uh, the goal of 2048 is to combine like tiles to create a new tile to free up more space so that another tile can spawn and the goal is to get to the 2048 tile which is right up here uh, that's what it looks like um, and so you do that by swiping uh, in certain directions up down left or right to move all the tiles in that direction so if I swipe left uh, all of the tiles will move left as far as they can so uh, these two tiles will move to this end and this tile will combine with this number two to create a four uh, so it'll swipe all the way to the left uh, and it's really cool because I know if there's another tile there so it won't go all the way to the left uh, we're using uh, interpolate so uh, you'll notice it's not just uh, very quick all the same speed it actually knows how long it's going to take to get there and it'll actually use a speed uh, to make that nice smooth transition uh, there's a really cool and responsive swipe system so uh, the swipe system was worked on for a long time and uh, very responsive. It knows if you're swiping up, down, left, or right. Um, I'll go ahead and keep playing here to make another four. Let's see, we can go down to create an eight. And we'll make another eight to create a 16. And let's see, there's a lot of strategy to this game. Um, and I'll admit I'm not the best at it, but it, I really love this game. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can go this way, and we'll create another 16, and we have the 16s next to each other, so we'll quit, create a 32, um, and we'll create an 8, really, really fun. You'll notice it has our score and the best score, uh, so of course the best score is saved. Uh, something else I'd really like to mention here is that everything is uh, loaded instantly, so if, for example, the player uh, loses or they want to restart, they can click the restart button and everything vanishes and restarts instantly. There's no loading or resetting of the scene. Everything is instant. So that's really cool. Um, and I'm sure the end users will really like that, not see that little pesky loading symbol down there. Um, okay, we'll create a 32. Uh, all of the art is included, uh, so you'll get this nice minimalistic art style here. Uh, like I said, this template is jam-packed full of uh, awesome logic. It uses a lot of writable tables, so it uses that power there to, uh, uh, to use some advanced logic. So when you pick this up, you'll get a, a lot of uh, good table logic you can pick through. There's another 32. Snap. Okay, there we go. And create a 64. Uh, there's a 4, there's an 8, let's see, here we go, I love this game, um, what else, um, the slate size and the spacing for all these tiles can be, uh, changed really easily, it's just an attribute, so you can customize that all you want, uh, but I think that's about it. The game ends when the entire board is filled up uh, and you can't move anymore, so the game knows when uh, you can't move anymore. It doesn't just end when the tiles are filled up. It actually has a really cool logic system to know if there's any other moves that can possibly ma be made. Uh, and so that's really cool. So we'll see if I... Yep, so there you go. It saw that I didn't have any more possible moves, and so it brings me to the game over scene and then it instantly re reloads uh, for another another go. So this is a really cool template. I'm really excited to finally get this up. I've been uh, kind of watching development of this and uh, seeing how the developer kind of took this on. It was a big task, but uh, 
really well done. I'm really excited. Um, so I hope you guys really like it. You can pick it up on gshelper.com today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really interested to see the templates you make out of this, the, uh, the games you make from this template, rather. And uh, yeah, best of luck with this, guys.